Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Aaron. I just wanted to make a video where I want to talk to my community and talk a little bit about the channel. Let's get to it, because uh, there's no really easy way of going about it. Man, the video you see in the background, first of all, is in rogue footage because uh, just today I just want to get away from rogue stuff as best I could. I am honestly tired of all these rogue things. And if you want to ask me, Dal, what rogue things are you talking about? Just go look at the rogue forum posts and comments. Oh man, I you guys remember when I had the whole uh, had a whole thing about hey let's uh, let's uh, make rogues great again, right? I I really did feel like I had a cause, and I think I the cause was just. It was basically saying that hey, I feel like not all rogue specs are doing all that well. I want more damage. It'd be great if assassination wasn't what is it? They got nerfed by what forty percent, then thirty percent, then. It just so many agility nerfs remember you remember those right and it was like wow there's a lot of nerfs coming in is it just or not and for the most part rogues were okay but then there was a patch i think 7.1 when 7.1 came out they had assassination outlaw doing the utmost lowest damage possible and then my videos became pretty negative negative. and i do want to apologize for that and uh a lot of this channel and the video and the game wow i it is a really close game to me and it does connect to me on more than one way for me to be able to output great videos for the channel is basically all i want to do on here i just want to make great videos and as many of them as possible because this is what i love doing i love sharing the content with you guys i like responding to you guys' comments and that's just how it is and when my favorite spec all of a sudden went from doing fairly okay to just like subpar and playable it was just such a heartbreaking moment and i can definitely relate to a lot of people that feel like they are uh, you know you were doing good one day and then all of a sudden they change your spec and bam you're dealing less damage than you were because of the i guess simplicity of legion and the prune that has happened i didn't think outlaw rogue had enough complexity or any specific mechanic to make it viable maybe in 3v3 and you would just do a lineup for like a mage or something with tricks of the trade uh but for the most part, I felt that there was a lot of other classes that could easily replace a Outlaw Rogue. And I felt that I'd have no problem just sitting sitting out on the bench. If, let's say, I was running with a team and they were like, Hey, we found a Woodwalker that we kind of want to play. It would be better, but I would have said, yeah, that's, that's completely fine. Because that was kind of the reality of things. With the changes that has happened as patch 7.1 went on, they got an agility buff for 5% for Assassination Outlaw. And that's when I kind of got off the gravy train, and uh, I don't even know if gravy train is supposed to be a positive term or a negative term. I'm meaning it in terms of like the slump, the gravy, I don't know, that's just the best that I can think of. I got off the train of complaints, and I was fairly happy with the uh, buff that we had. Currently, I'm still happy. Currently, I'm excited for patch 7.1.5. Yeah, I am a little bit unsure about it, but I am very hopeful in how it turns out, and I'm coming in with good vibes into the whole thing. Um, but... Ever since I got off that whole train of complaints, I've every time I talk about rogues now in terms of positive light, saying subtlety is doing all right, it's a decent spec, uh, it's a lot of uh, managing of energy and combo points and shadow strikes and dealing the, with the fact that you have most sustained damage combined up with CC, and saying that it's a pretty decent spec, and honestly, I think it is, and that's just my honest thoughts. I think assassination is a decent spec, and it's going to be made even stronger in the next patch with blind, even though I didn't think that currently need blind but uh, it does feel weird to be a rogue without a blind so it is going to open them a lot more opportunities for like 2v2 3v3 is i only had plenty of opportunities for 3v3s in my opinion but that blind is definitely going to seal the deal as a pretty de pretty good pvp spec and outlaw i felt like outlaw rogues got the minimum amount of damage buffs for five percent agility to make everything right and in the past, I talked about ideas that uh, I guess I kind of bounced off of the forums, like the idea to change Roll the Bones. Like, I was just trying to find ways to change Outlaw Rogues in little ways where it could be viable all over again. And I was thinking, oh, what if they made a Roll the Bones where it was a good roll every single time? Maybe make it just four different buffs, but every single buff is useful in one way or another, so you don't have to keep re-rolling. Uh, I talked about just maybe giving it some kind of buffs, like where on a cooldown you can just have all six buffs, and it's like, that would be insanity when you look, at, look back at it in retrospect. In retrospect, uh, Outlaw Rogue is doing fine, and was doing fine at the time in terms of buffs. I don't really have an issue with the buff mechanic, is what I learned about myself. But the only issue I thought was damage, and the only way I realized that is after Blizzard has buffed Outlaw by 5% in terms of agility. 
and honestly that made all the difference for me but as i'm trying to go around and uh get spread positivity and uh keep to my own thoughts keep to uh what i truly believe i am being challenged left and right by all these rogues that are complaining that rogues still suck to this very day i get so many comments and it's just like it's i don't even want to sit there and get into discussions with them because i feel like it's a lot of people that have are coming into my videos with a very dense mind and dense outlook on things as i try to respond to people in the comments individually i am just kept with more resistance and more resistance and more resistance i'm trying to look out in a different perspective of rogues that are saying well if only one percent of rogues can do so well but the rest of the community cannot then they think the blizzard should change the rogue spec to accommodate the rest of the players and it's like i can't agree with you i am trying to see where you're coming from but i just cannot agree with you i feel like legion is just one of those expansions where just a lot of changes happen to rogues and you either like it or you don't but there's a lot of people that are still out there talking about hey let's change this hey this is an issue hey that is an issue like for example a lot of people believe that roll the bones is one of the biggest issues of outlaw and i guess it's one of the perspectives that you could think of it another perspective that i have it, it is not the issue as blizzard stated as part of the core mechanic of the spec and that's what the spec is all about so my thoughts about it, okay, so if it's a core mechanic that is intended to work as it's supposed to, well, what can a rogue do? Well, the better rogue is going to keep rolling the bones, and statistically, they should get good enough buffs every single time. Statistically. And if you are a good rogue, you'll know how to use every single buff appropriately for different situations. So it's an idea about keep rolling the bones. Once you get the right buff, utilize it to your full potential in order to score yourself a win. And that's basically how I interpreted the spec and how I interpreted the mechanic for it for PvP. And that's literally what I've been rolling with. And I don't really see too much of an issue with it. Sure, yeah, sometimes it can get pretty annoying when you get one buff over and over and over. But I've never gotten so unlucky where I'm just getting one buff every single roll. And that's what it makes me feel like everybody is. It makes me feel like everybody on the forums that is complaining, let's say, about the Outlaw Rogue roll buffs and everything are the kind of rogues that are getting one buff every single time. And that's all they're getting is some kind of a crappy buff and they're not seeing any other buffs at all which i think statistically unless they're bugged unless they're just lying statistically it is straight up impossible statistically supposed to get decent buffs and it's a question of how do you apply them but that is what i believe compared to what other people believe in terms of the forums and i feel like we ended up developing here on the channel a very loud minority of players that are going to be as outspoken as they can be every time I say anything positive towards rogues. When I'm saying that subtlety rogues are in a pretty good spot right now and I'll point out to the strengths, people will come into my video and they'll point out to me 10 different weaknesses or if not weaknesses, they might point out one or two weaknesses and then 10 different things how rogues were different in one expansion and they were in another. Like right now rogues are telling me and there's plenty of you, not my community but plenty of those rogues that are telling me this, they're saying burst of speed will fix everything, bring back burst of speed, just we need burst of speed, and I'm like, no you don't. Burst of speed was maybe fine for a little bit of Pandaria, because I felt it filled with the dynamic of the expansion. Burst of speed was pretty uh, cancerous, let's be honest, in Warlords of Jenner, but it was kind of funny kind of cancerous, it was like, rogues are just sprinting all over the place for barely any energy, and at first they were actually able, yeah, they were able to clear slows, like what is this, that is insane, for any class that was let's say death knight or warrior, once a rogue is, uh, once you're out of all your mobility based abilities or grips as a death knight, and a rogue is just sprinting from you, that must be a little bit infuriating, that must be like a little bit bitter that rogue is literally running away from you and there's not a lot you can do about it and it's not like a cooldown it's just that's all they need to do is spam burst of speed every three seconds or so and they're out before i remember you burgs actually used to be able to spam burst of speed every global to keep clearing slows back to back to back and some rogues would even pop adrenaline rushes combat just to keep spamming a burst of speed over and over and over like it was insanity it was ridiculous and it was fun for a time, but I honestly don't feel that kind of ability would feel properly, would fit with the dynamic of uh, Legion whatsoever. It would kind of ruin the experience and make it a little bit weird and wonky, and balance-wise I think it would be just straight up awkward. So one of the things they did in Legion is uh, they did prune a lot of abilities, which I guess does give a lot of players like less excuses to be, you know, performing 
terribly because the difference between one of the best players and worst players is going to be that much smaller of a gap because you don't have as many abilities to separate you from. It's about how you use the abilities that you're given so it's more about consistency than finding new ways of using the same abilities or the whole toolkit or spell as talked about way back in the day by Sidu himself through the forum post and that was way before Legion was even released. And it was a long idea and people were supporting it and a lot of people were against his idea it was just a lot of uh, a lot of, a lot of shit going on at the time and if you want to run a timestamp date that was still nostarius was around we were just finishing up with warlords of Jenner. everybody is waiting for legion it was in beta a lot more people had access and could see everything that was happening on there and i remember those days just how much backlash there was and uh, I don't really know if I can compare his backlash and uh, his uh, I guess point of view compared to my backlash and my point of view because mine is just on such a small scale and it's only by a few people that just have the loudest voices possible and I understand most of my community uh, that watches me on a regular basis that comes to enjoy my videos rather than to just to hate and just dislike and whatever you want to do like it really doesn't matter YouTube doesn't care it actually and funny enough it actually helps my channel if you actually want a channel to die off the secret is to just stop watching their videos and stop doing anything don't comment don't like don't dislike because otherwise YouTube sees that somebody came on a channel and had an activity doesn't YouTube doesn't care if you hit a dislike or like or comment YouTube is what they're gonna do is say that oh this channel is getting activity let's promote it even more so I guess I should be saying thank you uh, but I don't know. I just want to make sure that you guys that watch my videos on regular do understand that this is not what I intended. I didn't intend any kind of negativity to just come in and uh, kind of sit on my channel. This isn't a place where I kind of want to make it. I was a little bit in the slump and I did fight a good fight for the causes I believe. But I'm not going to sit there and be an echo chamber and echo other people's ideas even though I don't believe them. Honestly, I think my channel could make more views, more videos, especially with the way that YouTube is right now as a platform, if I did so-called believe all of these ideas where rogues need buffs, rogue needs burst of speed and make all these crazy videos just complaining and wow 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 but what i would end up doing is drive away the original community and drive in a new cesspool of people that i just don't agree with and i don't think that's what i want to do so i just want to lay everything out on the table for you guys just to share everything that's going on in the background and just be honest with you guys because that is the least i can do I am looking at a positive side of 7.1.5. I'm very excited to see how it rolls out and see how things turn out. If you run into issues that I think are, you know, require devs to make some changes, then we'll run into issues that require devs to make some changes. But I'm going to take a look at the patch in a whole new light and just try to absorb it as best I can and um, just stay honest with myself and what I truly believe rather than going on some kind of a, a bandwagon of ideas of uh, you know whatever forums come up with or whatever other videos come up with. If rogues are going to be in that bad of a spot where they need you know a real bailout then I'm pretty sure the devs are going to make the necessary changes but if rogues are going to be fine well then rogues are gonna be fine. I'm just gonna be uh, voicing my opinions and not really allowing other people to take control of my opinions because that is the least, that is the least I can do to myself is stay honest with myself, stay honest on my own channel and express myself for what I truly believe. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I just want to make this video just to let you guys know what's going on in the background and if you're somebody who's uh, been seeing any of the, I guess, negativity and um, seeing the uh, the backlash do understand that i'm not part of that group that is not what i intended for i had a purpose at the time with uh you know going on the idea that rogues are in a bad spot but as soon as we got the necessary buffs i got off that train because this is that's not what i'm all about so i do kind of want to say hopefully everybody's having a good day hopefully everybody's uh, spreading positivity for the day uh good vibes for everybody um i got classes that i'm going to be in for the day uh, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of fun semester starts back up and I got an evening class too so I'm gonna be super exhausted by the end of the day but thank you guys so much for checking out the video I'm gonna see if I can continue making two videos a day uh, because this semester if it's gonna be a difficult semester we might have to make some channel changes but I want to continue making videos that I enjoy making videos that I love to make and sharing the content with all of you guys as I've been doing so far on the YouTube channel thank you guys so much for watching my name is Dal Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see all of you in the next one.